Mastering Griffin Flight isn't that hard, but I've recently received a numerous request for a guide, so here we are. Well then, let's learn how to fly like a pro. The key to it are properly used abilities, all of them. You may think that Griffin has only two, it's actually five. They look similar, but act differently. In the control option, scroll down to the mount section and set abilities 1 and 2. The game will allow you to bind them to keys you already using for something else. You can use some very convenient ones like skills or dodge button for example. Also make sure that on the bottom of general options you leave disable conditional mount movement ability input unchecked. Soup, your skill 1 and dive, mount ability 1 works almost the same. Holding them makes your griffon head towards the ground. However, there are small but important differences. Once you press soup, you will head down for more than one second. Dive does it only while you're pressing the key, so it can be used for very precise elevation adjustment by gentle tapping. Also, Swoop works as engage ability, so you will get dismounted when you hit the ground, while Dive won't. Both will also provide the first level of speed boost. It doesn't matter how long you will head down, even a few taps on Dive will give you the full boost. With a little bit of training, you can use it for fast traveling even on flat maps. Wing flap on your jump key is the most important ability. It does not only make you fly, but also jump higher and fly faster. Flap consumes your dodge bar, but you only need it around 80% full, so make sure it's used without delay. Flap jumps, as I call it, can reach as high as Springer without high wall mastery, which allows you to overcome the majority of obstacles. If you use flap while holding swoop or dive, you will reach the second level of speed boost. Unlike in normal or first level of speed boost, you won't lose your altitude anymore if you flap every time it's possible. The second level is essential if you wanna finish griffon races on the gold medal. The key S and mount ability 2 again works almost the same. They allow you to get back some of your elevation. The difference is that holding S will eventually stop you in the air, while ability 2 just leave you fly forward in the normal speed. Using it is a little bit tricky. It won't work if you just fly with normal speed. You need a boost level 1 or 2. There is some sort of internal buffer. Basically, it stores your momentum while you dive down what can be used later to get it back up. With good timing, you can get back the exact same height what you lost, or even more if you flap while rising up. Thing is that this buffer has a limit. If you dive down too long, over its capacity, you won't be able to get back all the height. With level 2 boost, is the limit much higher, so keep that in mind. Another interesting thing is that you won't lose speed boost until you deplete majority of store momentum, so we can use ability 1 and 2 in short bursts and achieve quite memorable flybys. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.